Hey guys, you are missing out. The Christ reality is streaming now live on Facebook and YouTube. Don't miss it. I'm telling you, you can't afford to miss this with a magnificent global papa, Dr. Abel Daniel. In Christ reality, I'm telling you, it's life changing, it's mind blowing, and it's life transforming. You can't afford to miss this. You can't afford to miss it. Let, let me give you something to tell so that you guys you can see. Then after that, go and watch in Christ reality. Glory! God is a spirit. Jesus said it. And to worship him, he has to be as a father. He changed the narratives from God to father. From temple and mountains to spirit. The Shaddai, the Shama, the Sitkenu, the Adonai, the man. <laughs> the Shaddai, the Shama, the Sitkenu, the El Shaddai, the Adonai is the man. He has made that Jesus Lord. When Abraham saw his day, he saw Jireh, and Jireh is his son. Abraham saw my days, and he was glad. And the days that Abraham saw were the days of Jireh, who is a man. When Moses said, I am that I am in that burning bush, he was talking about Jesus, the Yahweh. Because Moses will see from what happened to Israel from Egypt to Canaan as a representation of being led by the Spirit. Israel moving from Egypt to Canaan, the Exodus, was a representation of as many as are led by the Spirit, born by the Spirit from the flesh to the Spirit, from bondage to freedom. That was the exodus. That was the movement of the people. Taking them from the flesh to the spirit. From works to grace. And so if the deliverer is the Yahweh. The deliverer is the man. And the man is Jesus. Then Jesus reworks it. That's why they said repent. Repent. The Yahweh is a man. <laughs> Repent. Change your minds. The Yahweh is a man. The Yahweh is not a tyrant. Change your mind. The Yahweh is a man. The Yahweh didn't come to free you from Caesar. Change your minds. The Yahweh came to die in your place. The Yahweh didn't come to terrorize mankind. Change your mind. The Yahweh came on behalf of man as a man to die man's death. Change your mind. He's reworking their thinking. So here's Moses. Build a tabernacle. He does it for those guys who are stiff-necked. Then when he's leaving them with the figurative, he says, Lord, can I see your glory? Then God says, it will be in a rock. My glory will be in a rock. I am that rock. When you see me, then you will leave. Then John writes, Logos Ginomai. Logos Ginomai. In the beginning was the Logos. And the Logos Ginomai. The word became flesh. And then Tabernacle. Two books. The word became flesh and then tabernacles, two books, Genesis and Exodus. Once you don't get Genesis and Exodus, it will be difficult for you to understand the Bible. Genesis, God, Exodus became a man and dwelt among us. Genesis and Exodus, God, man in his image. Exodus, he dwells in man. That's the summary of Genesis and Exodus. And brother Paul writes it, Know ye not that you are the temple of the Holy Spirit? In Genesis 1, 26 and 28, you are the temple of the Holy Spirit is the fulfillment of Genesis 1, 26 and 28. Because he says, you will multiply and replenish the earth and have dominion. That's not Adam's children, but the son of the children of that image. He is called the church of the firstborn. 
So when he says, go into all the world and preach this good news, that is Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 to 28 fulfilled. Go and preach the gospel to every creature. Ah, let us make man in our image. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth. That's the gospel to all nations. Replenish the earth and have dominion. Because the sonship will be by adoption into the son. The image of God in the earth. So he reworks their thinking. He reworks the way they read the Old Testament letters. Brother Paul's temple here on earth. Heaven and earth can be replaced by one word. The spirit. The spirit. So when you say the spirit, what are you saying? Heaven and earth. Heaven and earth. So the spirit is the heaven and earth. Whatever you bind on earth is already bound in heaven. It means walk in the spirit amongst men. Because the heaven is the spirit. No, no, no. Listen, listen. You need to rework your mind because what I'm saying, if your mind is not flexible to renewal, you won't get it. You will occupy the seat of the unlearned and be asking foolish and unlearned questions. Don't be stuck with the word heaven the way you used to think it. Allow the scriptures tell you what it was thinking when those words were used and let there be an adjustment because that's exactly what teaching is supposed to achieve. Teaching is supposed to bring you to a place where you submit to the authority of scriptures and let the scriptures form the way you think about God. That's what teaching is supposed to do. Don't be stuck up with the word heaven and you're thinking of sky. It's Bible language. So let the Bible interpret its language. Don't bring your nuances into Bible teaching.